As an artist, 24-year-old Cammie Jo Whiteclay takes inspiration from her Crow culture and places like this, where she grew up on the reservation. It's that uniqueness that's earned her a 10-week high-profile internship with the corporation of Nike. There used to be like mussels and clams out here and we'd just find them. The Bighorn River has a special place in Cammie Jo Whiteclay's heart. I actually grew up here riding horses, checking on the animals with my grandpa. It's also where her great-grandmother helps her find love for art. She actually would just sit and draw with me when I was a little girl. Decades later, this was a self-portrait I did. Cammie Jo is still drawing, this time at the Institute of American Indian Arts in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm doing a BFA in studio art with an emphasis in silversmith and jewelry, metalwork, but I have a minor in performance art. But Cami Jo doesn't limit herself to those mediums. I actually made out of pure sterling silver. I do serigraphs, so like printmaking, screen printing. Um, I do digital art. 3D modeling. I do ledger art. Drawing her inspiration from the people and places she loves. My strong identity with being Absaluga or being Crow, um, my family. Something you can really see in her art. I do poetry as well. And something that one corporation saw as well. Some people at Nike, um, they're kind of like the main recruiters. The million dollar retailer stopped by Cami Joe's school looking to recruit more Native Americans. And she jumped at the chance. My interview went really well, I felt, but I think that I was still sort of kind of having that doubt from being rejected the first time. It took two years of trying, but Cami Joe will officially be an intern at Nike's headquarters in Oregon next week. It was crazy. My heart was just pounding. <laughs> and someday, she says she'll come back to the reservation to open up her own art studio. I just want to bring that to my own community and share that with others. In Crow Agency, Alina Howder, MTN News.